What's up, ladies, Joshua, and welcome back to another series. And this one is going to be a little mini series, you know, just up to January, basically talking about some potential January transfers. Of course, I've got potential uh, potential January upgrades um, as another series, so I'm starting a few new, like, uh, you know, I, I like these sort of uh, videos, you know, where I compare and etc. Because I just like doing them, and it it feels like I'm more passionate about them because it obviously it relates to more in real life football. So uh, I definitely I would like to do more of these if you guys would want to see them but anyway uh, let's talk about some transfers but first if you guys are looking for the newest way to buy coins do be sure to check the link in the description for FIFA coins land they're selling for five pound per 100k on the Xbox and about three pound per 100k on the PlayStation use the code Josh at checkout for eight percent off but apart from that let's get straight into this video and let's just start talking about some potential transfers Alrighty guys talking about the first player and the first player that's gonna pop into this episode and we're actually going to see a lot of Manchester United players today and that is the main reason because Manchester United are looking to rebuild, you know, it's, it's been a rebuilding process since Van Hal has come in and a lot of these players are, you know, linked to Manchester United so I don't want you, you know, to be thinking this is a Manchester United biased themed episode, it's basically just whichever players I was looking for, you know, it turns out Manchester United were interested in them so that will be like my, their main interest. But anyway, uh, let's get straight into talking about Strootman. Strootman playing for Roma at the moment has been injured for a little while, he seems to be a little bit injury prone and uh, he seems to have a huge price tag on him it seems like Roma want at least 60 million 70 million something ridiculous numbers but I'm hopefully uh, I'm hoping that you know we can get him for at least like 28 to 35 because I really do not want to pay much more than that because that is starting to get a little bit ridiculous I mean are we I know we've paid a lot uh, for some certain players this year but I really don't want to pay too much for him because I feel like you know with Fellaini starting to come into better use uh, Carrick coming out of injury Herrera Mata you know all these players that are starting to get played again, I actually feel like our midfield isn't as bad as people expected now. And uh, I, I do definitely think we, we, we should get Strootman though, but I just don't want to see us pay, pay too much for him. But I definitely think he will join Manchester United in January. It seems like uh, it's, it's too much of a, uh, of a non-link uh, for it not to happen now. So I definitely think he will join and uh, I, will wel I would welcome him with open arms as long as the price is right. The next player we're going to talk about is Karim Benzema. Now, I actually don't know why the hell Karim Benzema would want to leave, but apparently Ancelotti has no you know, plans for him in his future Real Madrid team. And of course, I think they're looking to buy um, Thomas Muller from Bayern Munich for you know the new striker. But honestly, I actually really, really like watching Benzema play. I think he's an absolutely fantastic world-class striker, and I would love to see him play for Manchester United someday. But I do not think it will happen in January, but this is a strong link at the moment, apparently, uh, along with... Um, Arsenal and Liverpool you know it will do I think it will be between these three teams but if he does manage to you know slip away from Real Madrid but if, if in my honest opinion I would happily stay for you know I would love for him to stay at Real Madrid because he's a fantastic player there he's, he's just you know he seems to work perfect magic between Ronaldo and Bale and you know all the rest of their world-class superstar team um, but honestly a fantastic player would love to see him at Manchester United but you know with the likes of Van Persie, Falcao and Rooney at the moment maybe you know with Van Persie dropping off a little bit Van, uh, Benzema would be a fantastic you know striker to bring in because Rooney seems to be sitting far back a little bit so maybe Benzema would be perfect for Manchester United but also would be perfect for Liverpool and uh, Arsenal of course because Arsenal are lacking that striker I don't think Danny Welbeck is going to fill that void for too long I think Benzema would be absolutely fantastic for that uh, position and of course for Liverpool as well Moving on to the third transfer guys for this special episode and today we are going to talk about Shakiri with a possible move away from FC Bayern Munich and uh, the main uh, you know teams that it looks like he's going to go to is either going to be Arsenal or Liverpool. Personally I would like to see him rather go to Arsenal I think he'll get more use of it, out of him there um, you know but other than uh, but then again there is Oxley Chamberlain there is you know Walcott and um, you know I guess uh, Shakiri can actually play like in the middle as well so Shakiri is a very versatile player for either of these teams so I think uh, it's more likely for him to go to Arsenal at the moment just Liverpool seem to be crumbling a little bit more than Arsenal but I do think he will go to Arsenal if you know between these two teams I think he'll go to Arsenal over Liverpool but you know who am I to say anything because you know people have you know stunned uh, stunned targets in you know in, in in the past and people have been joining random teams that nobody expected to join so maybe you'll join Arsenal maybe you'll join Liverpool but between those two teams I don't think he'll join anybody else 
Moving on to the fourth transfer, and it is going to be talking about Marco Royce. Now, he seems to be a little bit injury-prone at the moment, but that is not going to stop anybody trying to get him and snap him up because he is probably one of the best players in Bundesliga at the moment. And, you know, with the way Dortmund are playing right at the bottom of the Bundesliga, I honestly have no idea what the hell is going wrong with them. Maybe just lacking confidence, and hopefully they can, you know, get back onto a little bit of good form recently. Um, but, you know... Being smacked back at the bottom, you cannot really manage to or, or afford to keep a player like Royce. And I do think he will be leaving eventually, whether it's in January or not because of his injury. I'm really not too sure, but it seems like the most you know the the most um, linked player that he, you know the the most linked team, sorry, that he will be going with is going to be Real Madrid. And Ancelotti says he's a fantastic player and would love to see him in the squad one day. So um, it's either between Real Madrid, Manchester United, or Chelsea at the moment. Those are the main three linked squ uh, squads, and I would love to see him at Manchester United. Once again, absolutely fantastic, you know, quick, pacey player, scores goals, assists goals, just an all-around fantastic player and would love to see him at Old Trafford one day, but I do think he'll go to Real Madrid instead. Moving on to the final player for this episode, guys, and we are going to talk about Hummels. Now, there's only one main team that he has been linked with, and it's been linked with, you know, for a numerous of years now. It's probably been like two years we've been linked with him, and we haven't managed to bag him yet. Maybe this is the time to bag him in January when his team's not doing too well, and, uh, you know, he obviously doesn't want to be known as, well, I mean, a, a, a world-class defender like Hummels doesn't want to be a bottom t a bottom side team if they're, if that's where they're going to be staying at the moment, because, you know, Man Manchester United, I feel like they're on the way up and this could be a fantastic move Hummels but whether whether or not he will move on I'm really not too sure but it is the main linked side with him and I would love to see him at Old Trafford I do think we need a great experienced defender of course he's won the World Cup with Germany I mean you can't really ask him for, for much more than that you know I would love to see him with Hummels you know Smalling Rojo you know build them into better defenders with their experience and stuff and you know build them into a fantastic defense of the back line but um, that's just my opinion and hopefully he can join Manchester United soon Thank you guys for watching this episode of January Transfers. This has been episode one. If you would like to see episode two, do be sure to comment down below uh, what you thought of this episode. And of course, comment down below some players that you have been heard, you know, transfer rumors about. And of course, then I will link, you know, five more players and I'll cover them in the next episode. But apart from that, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy it, leave a like, rate, and subscribe to my channel if you're new in here. Follow me on Twitter at Chicken94. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.